What's way up with Angela Yee? I'm Angela Yee. My girl Chella is it's guest hosting. Hey. Yee Tea Time. Now, former NBA star Nate Robinson said he may not have long to live if he doesn't get a kidney replacement. He's been dealing with kidney failure for about six years. He told the Daily Mail he just wants to make the best of it as much as he can. He opened up about renal kidney failure back in 2022. He'd been dealing with it privately for four years back then, but he was ready to be the voice for others who are going through the same thing. Here's what he had to say on the OG show. It's wear and tear on you, you know, mentally. And every morning I go into dialysis at 5.30 in the morning or something like that. Because that's the hardest part is the emotional side. Because for me, I never quit anything in my life. You know what I'm saying? So I can't quit this. And there have been times where I wanted to give up. And I'm like, I can't because I don't know how. No, you know, he does dialysis. And sometimes that can lead to painful vomiting. And that will leave him hospitalized for a day or two. Mm. And he said, if I didn't go to dialysis, I wouldn't live probably longer than a week or two. So he can't miss a day. He said, I go in for four hours, three days a week, four hours a day. And they clean my blood to get my toxins out. And they help me out a lot because that's how I'm living. Wow. Isn't that awful? Yeah, that's a lot. Man, I really hope that he's able to receive the kidney transplant because if not... You know, who knows what can happen, but he's got painful vomiting. Um, and he said things have been a roller coaster for him. So, you know, he learned in 2006 his high blood pressure actually damaged his kidneys. Wow. All right. So we are praying for you, Nate Robinson. Yes. All right. Trina has announced her new book, The Baddest. Yes. That's coming out October 8th. I know you and Trina are cool, too. Yeah, that's my girl. We just did a new song, actually. So be on the lookout for that. Okay. What's the name of the song? It's called mm, In Your Face. Whoa. Are we allowed to say that? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's just uh, in your face. All right. Well, shout out to Trina. I cannot wait yeah. to read this book. Um, you know, they said she'll be, it says, I'll, I'll give you a quote. In the baddest, Trina's voice is, as always, powerful, insightful, witty, and provocative. Yes. While also showcasing her vulnerability and deep love for her family, home, and music. Yes. All I right. love me some Trina. Shout out to the baddest B. All right. Venus Williams has announced her new health and wellness book. It's called Goal. Uh, well, she said the goal is to share the tips and tricks that helped her. It's called Strive. It's a new book on wellness that comes out this fall. And she said she wants to help readers achieve the lifestyle they want by implementing a set of principles in their lives. You know, as an athlete, and not just an athlete, but a star athlete, she said, I know the perseverance and consistency it takes to accomplish your goals and get true results. With Strive, my goal is to share the tips and tricks that help me in my own personal wellness and nutrition journey. I would love to see that because when I tell you Serena, I'm um, Venus Williams and Serena, both of them, yeah. she is a winner. So yes. to be able to see what it is that was going on with her mentally and the things that she's done, she's going to highlight eight essential uh, tenets that have been helpful. Observe, appreciate, balance, enrich, soothe, believe, inspire, and strive. Yes. All right. And one more thing y'all will be excited about. Eminem, by the way, there's a lot of stands in this studio. <laughs> he wants fans to share their story for an upcoming stands documentary. And he put out an open call to his social media followers. He shared a link. And when you click on that link on his page at Eminem, then you'll see a questionnaire that will be used so they can figure out who will be on this short list uh, for stands? And so the forum has questions like, what are some things in your life that you've accomplished thanks to Eminem and his music? Do you remember when Eminem took a break from touring, releasing albums circa 2005? If so, how did that impact you? Uh, who in this room deserves to be in this stands documentary? Dan. Dan. <laughs> Actually, that's not even his real name, but it rhymes with Stan. Right. And he changed his name to Dan because he's such a fan. There's and a form. And that rhymes too. I'm Nick definitely too. filling out that form. You are? Yes. Absolutely. Okay. Well, let's see. Paul Rosenberg, Eminem. Hope you're hey. listening. Tracy, I hope you guys are listening. We got let's some go. stands in the room. Let's go. <laughs> well, I'm not a stan, but I am whatever you well, say then, I am. Let's ooh, say that. That was clever. All you're right. Not, you're not. <laughs> All right, well, that was your UT, and when we come back, we have a bout last night. That's where we discuss what we did last night. Ooh. Chella, you slept, but um, I did a lot of stuff, so. And you went to sleep earlier than me after I woke up, so we even. Well, yeah, you had a nice nap. All right, yeah, yeah. it's way up. About last night is next. 